Now from 12 Sports, this is the Wendy's Friday Night Blitz. All right, welcome into the Friday Night Blitz alongside Taylor Begley, I'm Maury Hirsch, Gordon, Rosie Langello will join us in just a bit. The calendar is now officially October, the first of the month. League play is heating up in our area. A lot of great matchups, and that starts with our game of the week. Teams looking to take a step closer to clinching a spot in the playoffs. We have our coach Mike Dup segment, which spotlights a first time guest and as always our fan favorite band of the week. Yeah, we start with our game of the week, a rare matchup, an out of state matchup between a team from Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Taylor, you were there. Yeah, a Catholic clash between these two teams. It was homecoming in in Warwick for Bishop Hendrickson hosting Massachusetts Power Catholic Memorial in an out of state showdown. It was rough for the Hawks at first and really the whole game. A late first half punt turns into points for the Knights here. And it's not like Hendrickson needed to allow any more points because they were already in a deep hole. That put them at 42 to 7 at half. The Hawks started to move the ball better in the second half, trying to make a comeback. David Lynch, the QB, airs it out and Asmar Abdullah with the juggling catch there for the touchdown, but the comeback was too little, too late for Hendrickson. They could not stop Catholic Memorial from scoring. It's a blowout, 55-28 against a tough non-league opponent. That'll get them ready for games in Rhode Island this year. Two middle of the pack D1 teams. We head to South County, SK hosting Central. The fans here fired up. Rebels start off strong, running back Amani Boma to the left side, takes it to the end zone. That gives SK a 6-0 lead. Central would not go down without a fight. Running back Theron Zarwia gets the edge, takes it 50 yards down the field untouched. But SK would prevail. A big pick six, and they hold on for dear life. They pull out a big one-point win. All right, over to NK hosting EP. The Skippers looking to keep pace with the Townies. Special teams would be the name of the game in this one. East Providence's kicker botching the snap, and Zachary Giuliani would be there to swallow it up, forcing the turnover on down. Skipper's ball, North Kingstown defense. They would end this one. Andrew Ciarnello showing those up, picking off the pass. North Kingstown scores all of their points in the second half, going on to win this one 17 0. All right, Portsmouth looking to bounce back after a last second loss to Central. They were at Cranston East. Home team trailing big second half. They, uh, they get on the board. Naz Million finds Romeo Cordero. He dekes the D, finds the end zone, but that was the only bolt highlight of the night. Patriots cruise to a 42 to six win. East Greenwich hosting Woonsocket. Avengers in search of their first win, Woonsocket. Coming out of the gate strong in the second half, Josiah Clemens showing off the fancy feet, taking this one to the house, Woonsocket up 12-0. And they would go for two, Jamari Barr gets the position, but he can't come down with the ball, forcing the ball out. East Greenwich would try to respond, Park Hardesky airing it out, but can't find his man, Woonsocket wins this one 12-7. EG off to a slow start. Division two, Mount Hope hosting Westerly, both sets of cheerleaders, rocking the pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Scoreless mid first quarter, Westerly was all ground game tonight. Zach Tuck, good strong vision here, and his run puts him inside the 15. Two plays later, right back to 2-4, the junior with another nice run, flattens a Husky at the goal line, they go up 7-zip. More bully ball from Stanley Dunbar's team. Drew Mason finds Pater. Westerly wins easily by three touchdowns. Let's head down to Newport and Topa Field. Coventry looking for its first league win at Rogers. Opers in early 8-0 lead. Vikings respond. A big hole for running back Dylan Walker. Bounces outside 60 yards. No one's touching him. 8-6. Toward the end of the first half, Coventry starts to pull away. Cameron Vesey flies past the defense. 40 yards, catch and run. Oakers win big, 38-12. All right, so those are your highlights from Division I, Division II in Rhode Island. Let's go to Division Three, where a pair of undefeated teams met up in Johnston, and that's where we hand things off to Rosie Langello. Hey, you guys, the Panthers welcome Narragansett to their den tonight. Both schools, a combined 5-0 and in league play coming into the night, a potential Super Bowl preview in week four. Panthers trailed 21 to 12 at the half, looking to cut the deficit inside the red zone. Fourth down, they try a little razzle dazzle hook and ladder, but Zachary Bianco's tackle breaks it up. Norman Fry falls on it for the recovery and the visitors impose their will from there. Phil Thoreau 
hands to Makey Wilson. Looks like he stopped at the five yard line, but he keeps on churning, keeps on going. A little help from his friends. Pig pile in the end zone there. Narragansett hands Johnson their first league loss, 43 to 18. All right, right below those sit or those two sits undefeated Pilgrim as well. Patriots hosting North Smithfield Mount St. Charles co-op first quarter. Alex Pinero in motion. The jet sweep takes this play to the outside and he's gone to the house. First of three touchdowns for him. Pilgrim up seven. Another Patriot with three scores as well. Danny Halliwell. This was a hat trick for him. Takes the screen pass 55 yards. Some nifty moves there. Pilgrim cruises 55 to 13. Hey, Maury. All right, thanks, Rosie. Down to Division 4 now, North Providence. The Cougs hosting the co-op of Juanita, PCD, and Wheeler. Cheerleaders fired up. Defensive battle in this one. Home team, a 7-0 lead. Vince Harris keeps it that way. The pass breakup in the end zone on fourth and goal like Jason McCourty in Super Bowl 53. A little later, Arthur Settlin shows you how to break up a screen pass. North Providence pitches the shutout, 7-0. All right, to our final game in Rhode Island, Davies and Situate from West Warwick High School, and it just looked like Friday night lights out there. Spartans would score first by way of this sack right here in the end zone, and it would be a safety, but that would be all the scoring that they would do. Davies then took over in this one. The Patriots would be in the red zone after a big play set them up. QB Antonio Cabral pitching it to Matt Patnod for the touchdown, 20-2 to the final. The Spartans fall on their homecoming. Seven games tomorrow in Rhode Island, all early afternoon. These are the top five for the Blitz. At high noon, Tolman visits Classical. At 2 o'clock, Cranston West, Burrowville, West Warwick, St. Ray's, and LaSalle hosts out-of-state Marshfield from Massachusetts. Lincoln visits Moses Brown at 3.30. Coming up next on the Blitz, we go to Massachusetts for a pair of games in Attleboro. And then our favorite segment, our coach mic'd up. We've got a special one that's straight ahead. The Wendy's Friday Night Blitz continues on WPRI 12. We're back on the Blitz. Taylor, Maury, let's go right to Attleboro for both schools. They were both at home tonight. Let's start in big red country, North Attleboro, hosting Canton, first quarter. North up 7-0, they add to it here. Tyler DiMatteo, he's a blitz regular. <clears throat> Excuse me, gets the handoff, fakes out our camera, and there he goes into the end zone. North up 14-0. Later in the first quarter, Chase Frisoli, another blitz regular, fakes the handoff, finds Joey Forello for six. Red Rocketeers win big 42-8. Congratulations to their program, their 600th win in their history. That's big time, big time plays. Now we move down to Attleboro, the Blue Pride hosting Milford. Alex Harrop slapping the base for the band. I mean, look at him go. We love that. Near the end of the first half, Attleboro down 14 nothing. Jake Straminski trying to keep it that way. Big old sack right there on Milford's QB, 14 nothing at half. And we got to show the base player again because, man, putting in work. Third quarter, Evan Cornelius throwing it to the end zone and finds Isaiah Pantalone for the diving catch. Milford wins 28-0. All right, time for our Coach Mike up segment, and it's the first time guest he's been waiting for this his whole high school football coaching career. Yeah, he's been highly anticipated, a lot of recommendations to have him mic'd up. We've yeah. got an assistant coach for Hendrickin, Joe Bucci. Let's get out to our Coach mic up segment. You ready to roll, buddy? Mm -hmm. All right, big man. Let's, we gotta make some stops on D now, all right? Yeah, mic up. Let's go, Ollie! Come on, come on, Ollie! Yeah, Molly! There you go! There you go! Yeah! Go, go! Oh, you can't do that in high school. <laughs> First down. AD! Touchdown. Yeah! Baby! All right. Now if we gotta stop, we're good. Oh, man. <laughs> if you start tubing, let me know. Oh, come on, man. Hey, hey, hey! Blast, you good? All right. Oh, blast! Yeah, blast! Yeah, blast! Good job, D! When they let you in, it's screen. When they let you in, it's screen. I went. I went. I was Get off the field. 
<laughs> All right, thanks, Coach Bucci. That's going to do it for this show. We end with our Band of the Week from Seacon High School. Thank <laughs> you.